E motherfucking lie. What's going on? What's up, bro? Man, just cooling, bro. I've been cooling. You been cooling, cooling? Man, big cooling. Okay, okay. Say you got it, say you got it, but you don't. But you you're living don't. like you're rich, but we know that you're broke. We know you're and yeah, you say you move it, but I never seen the dope. Never. And yeah, you say you got it, say you got it, but you don't. But you don't. Say you got it, say you got it, but you don't. But you're living like you're rich, but we know that you're broke. We know you're and yeah, you say you move it, but I never seen the dope. Never. And yeah, you say you got it, say you got it, but you don't. But you don't. We're going to start this thing off, man. So, uh, Eli, that's your real name or that's like a rap, that's your rap name? Actually, that's my middle name. Uh, the three eyes, that's the that's the rap name. But my middle name's actually Eli, believe it or not. Okay, okay. Um, You're from Gilbert. That's what, that's 803, 843, 864? 803. Uh, this is right beside Lexington, South Carolina. Um, Gilbert, small town. Really small town, not not much there, you know. We 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 ain't got nothing there, so I'm trying to make make more out of our town than what it is. Okay, so you like the only artist from there? Uh, oh well, yeah, basically, and everybody that's coming after me. <laughs> Damn, is a lot of people coming after you? Nah, they just they just you know they trying to be something, but. A lot, like, like all the other artists, you know, there's there's the real artists and then there's the fake, you know what I mean? Like, they ain't authentic. Nobody, nobody authentic from where I'm at. Okay, okay. What's your childhood been like? Mm, and I grew up, like, I grew up with, a, uh, with both of my parents together, but they divorced when I was, like, seven. So I was always with my dad most of the time, but my dad was always out of town growing up, and my mom was like addicted to drugs and shit. So I couldn't be around my mom too much because my dad wouldn't let me. But when I grew up, I was just like, <clears throat> I mean, my dad wasn't home because his his job was like out of town, and he was gone like four or five days of the week usually. And I would have a lot of time. And then <clears throat> eventually it got to the point where I was growing up and I was being such a bad kid myself. Mm -hmm. Like, I remember I got got suspended my first time, I think in like seventh grade. For what? <laughs> Bruh, for uh, skipping class. Yeah. And like, ever since, ever since like then, my my mom, she still looked at me the same like she did when I was a kid. But my dad, like, he 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 stopped giving me chances, especially when I kept messing up. So I just, I eventually just, I got tired of his his whereabouts, and I just moved in with my grandma. Cause grandma was cool; she didn't really care for the most part. And then when I was living with her, it it turned out, you know, I did basically the same stuff, and then. I got I got sent to DJJ when I was in when I was in ninth grade. No. Yeah, I got sent to DJJ and that 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 didn't open me up. What, <laughs> I what, still say the same. Was was it rough in there too? Like I mean Oh yeah man. Man I I mean it's just like jail. It's just for the little little kids. I was over there off Broad River Road. Oh damn. But um Got out of there, never graduated high school. Said fuck high school. You know, it wasn't school wasn't for me, especially because I failed like majority of all my classes. I, I barely made credits in school. School wasn't for me, and I got out. And I basically spent most of my life in what what we would say is the street life. No, it wasn't really. I wasn't really one of those good kids that were just like, hey, I'm going to hang out with my friends after school and do sports. Nah, I was about making money. <laughs> and I was about smoking, you know, chilling with the ladies, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, that's basically it, though. Like, growing up, I, I, I just stayed the same, bro. Like, I never even changed one bit, really. Word, word. Um... What 
kind of rapper would you say you you like a party rapper, trap rapper? You know what I'm saying? What? Man. Honestly, I'd say I'm a, I'm a mix. Cause like growing like when I first started rapping, I was just trying to make good raps. But like once I figured out where I wanted to make my music and like the the uh the sound that I wanted to put out in a certain form, like. The party, the party rap came first, but like I, I really wanted to put more of what I grew up with into my music, and I wanted people to know, like, you know, like this is really what I grew up doing, like, you know, and that's the truth though. This shit's crazy. Like, people would look at me, they're like, "Man, he probably raps about just anything." No, nah, man, mm. man, I know just as much as you do. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man, so I, I say I'm both. Okay, okay. Um, I gotta ask you this, man. Like, you know, being like a, a Caucasian rapper, do, do you catch a lot of like a lot of negative? You know what I'm saying? With that, you know. I mean, not really, honestly. With with, and it's not really surprising either. I mean, to some people it might be surprising, but like the way that I came presenting my music like everybody saw it as just talent and um even though my lyrics are not you know the most clean a lot of people respect my, my music and it doesn't matter about race I, I don't care you know what I mean everybody's human and, and that's how most people look at me I've never I haven't even had one person come up to me and be like yo you need to quit cause you're white mm. <laughs> like, like, no, nah, like, for real, everybody fucks with me. It's crazy. Like, it's the truth, though. Nobody hates me. And if they do, they quiet about it. Mm. Okay, okay. Um, if we on set, man, shooting a music video, man, what can piss you off, bro? Like, that'd be like, man, I'm frustrated as hell. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, when, like, I don't know exactly what to do. Especially when I'm stupid, like faded. Man, I'm telling you, on scenes sometimes you be getting so messed up because during scenes, like, and even with the scenes, like, in between and during, and like, you're, you're, you're partying basically. And man, that, that kind of makes me mad because, like, you know, I want to turn up regardless, and it's like, damn, like, now I'm fucked up, but I'm still gonna rock this shit out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, I mean, that's, I mean, that really makes me mad, like, the directors do a good job, everybody does a good job, it's just I get a little too turned up sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, if that was to find your style, right, so if I had to say, like, blank plus blank equals Eli, what would artists you could put together in, like, in that equation, you know what I'm saying? Man, I don't know about that, man. I, I feel like I'm my own... Like, I feel like nobody can touch me, to be real. Damn. I'm, I'm for real. That shit's crazy, too. Like, I, I never thought I would say that either. But, dude, lately, I'm just untouchable. It's crazy. Damn. And and that, is that the reason why you're saying you're the hardest 20-year-old, bro? <laughs> I am the hardest 20-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. And even before I was 20 and after this age, I'm still going to be the hardest. Yeah. That's true, though. And that's always going to be true. 100. Shit. Okay. Okay. Um, A lot of people be trying to find like a decision when they drop music. Like, they be like, one person be like, drop an album first or drop a mixtape. Which one you think should become first? You know what I'm saying? The album or the mixtape? I'm going to be real. The mixtape's got to come first because you can put out an album, but if you don't practice... Excuse me. If you don't practice putting out content before the album, you never know how the album is going to come out. Right. Especially mixtapes, they build up your fan base too, along with the people that listen to you, because they're not going to just go and support your album if they've never even heard your mixtapes. So I, I, I agree with the mixtapes before the, the albums. Okay. Tell them where they can find you, bro. Man, add me on Instagram at official Eli, and that's with three eyes too. 
at me on Twitter forever Eli. My music is Eli Three Eyes on everything. YouTube, Spotify, the SoundCloud, the Apple, the whatever you listen to music on, I'm on there. And Facebook, Eli, uh, Snapchat, this is a little too personal. Throw them shout out. Man, shout out to all my homies, shout out to all my family, shout out to Nico Baby, that's my uh, fucking dog, that's my producer. Shout out to Stay, shit, yeah, shout out to Stay Along with the producer Mufasa. Man, Mufasa, that's my dog, he produced that. Mm. Shout out to Beat Plug 2, shout out to Nick Nash Beats, shout out to A Rich, shout out to Jetson Made, of course. Shit, that's the new song we about to put out with Nico, Jetson Made, Nico. Um, shit. Man, shout out to all the artists in SC and NC. That are working hard, trying to be someone with themselves. Shout out to everybody that has a dream, that's trying to become who they want to be. You know, shout out, shout out to just every. Like I said, everybody that's got a dream. Shout out to y'all. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it ain't about a dollar, bitch, I'm not near you. Pull up, we got it. Smoking on exotics, say you've been the topic, but I 